let's start the third topic for this session. In this third topic, we'll see, we'll see why there's a need for working capital. Why do we have to study so much about working capital management? See, working capital is required for the day-to-day -day operations to purchase raw materials, payment of wages and salary for meeting our day-to-day -day expenses, short-term in nature, like which happen in normal course of business like transportation, traveling, similar to meet any credit obligations as well. But when you see when working capital is found, what we mostly follow is a networking capital concept. It is current assets minus current liabilities. When you pay off your current liability, should the difference should not be too huge or too large. See, excess working capital is bad and inadequate working capital is also bad. Excess working capital means what? Unnecessary amount is tied up in raw materials, components and space. Similarly, it results in what? Locking up of excess working capital. You could have used the money somewhere else, but the money is staying idle over there. So excess is also bad, right? It unnecessarily creates bad debts, reduces the collection period, and it reduces your profits tomorrow because money is idle. You could have invested some may use for any profitable avenue, but you're not using it at all. Similarly, inadequate working capital is also bad. Inadequate working capital means the amount is very less when you meet off your current liabilities as well. Now, when you have adequate working capital, what happens? It cannot you cannot actually go for bulk orders. For example, if a manufacturer of shoe I got a new order. If I don't have working capital to meet that order as well, it's I can't take up the orders and my profitability will be impacted. Similarly, the bulk order requirements are impacted. Similarly, difficult to implement operating plans for a company and activate the firm's profit target. Similarly, it also becomes impossible with effectively utilization of your fixed assets. So excess and adequate both is bad. Similarly, the rate of return on investment falls down with the shortage of working capital. In short, if you see overall operations of the business gets affected. So excess is also bad and less is also bad. Now, how do you estimate the right amount of working capital is what we are going to study over here. How do you determine the exact amount of working capital to be required by a business concern? So we have seen what is working capital, the various components of working capital and types of working capital. We've seen why there's so much need for working capital as well. We'll be seeing how do we estimate the working capital requirements now.